draw that block in first angle orthographic projection. So the very first thing I'm going to do is to draw my horizontal line. All right. So after drawing my horizontal line, I am going to draw a vertical line. All right. So after drawing the vertical line, so from the center of the horizontal line, I'm going to measure 10 mm towards my right and 10 mm towards my left. From this same center line, I'm going to measure 10 mm towards the top and 10 mm towards the bottom. All right. Then I'm going to bring them out now. All right. So I haven't done that. As you can see in the uh, picture, our uh, front view is direction of our S, and that is towards the, towards the right hand side. So and my NV is towards the, towards the left hand side. And based on the principle of first angle projection, our left hand view is going to be what's placed on the right here, all right? While our front is going to be what is going to be here. So let me draw my front view now. Okay, so looking at it, the other span of that front view is 40, while the height is what is 30. So span of 40, height of 30, height of 30. So let me bring that out first of all. Take note, I projected my line towards the bottom very well so that it can aid the construction of my what, of my plan. And also this front view, I'm going to project it towards this uh, right hand side very well, all right? So I haven't done that. So the small box at the bottom here of my front view, uh, the height is what? The height is 15 while the span is, is 20. Span of 20. Which is this height of 15 which is this okay so i'm going to take it out now i'm taking it out All right, so there is a there is an hidden details here. There is an hidden details here. So the web on that end elevation, yeah. That web, the depth is what the depth is 10 mm. So I'm going to measure my 10 mm here. All right, that's my 10 mm. And I'm going to project it downwards. Okay, so I'm going to represent this with what with hidden details. That is 10 short dashes. Okay, so that's my front view. So to draw my plan, I already have the this. So the span of my plan is what is by 40. 40. So I'm going to measure the 40 here. This is the 40 of my plan. And I'm going to what? Uh, draw, join it horizontally. Yeah. All right. From year to year is what is 10 on my plan. 10, then at the bottom part also here to here is also what is 10 is 10 all right okay then i'm going to uh, bring this particular web out yeah that web uh this particular area so the thickness at the top is what is 10 which is from here, mark 10, that's mark 10. And I'm going to also watch, uh, project it. So let me tick in it now. Let me tick in it. Okay, so this is my what this is my plan. What else now? 
is to what is to get my what my n view how do i get my n view placing my uh t square i'm going to draw a line at angle 45 degree from the midpoint yeah from the middle here at 45 degrees so from here 45 degrees downwards so wherever it intersects wherever the projections from this area intersects by 45 degree i'm going to what pull it upwards all right this is it upwards from here this is it upwards from here this is it upwards all right then also from here upwards all right i haven't done that all i need is just trace out my what my end view tracing out my end view is going to be this I'm going to take in this area all the way from here all right down to this place and all the way from here down here and all the way from here down to this point all right then all the way from here down here 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 and here all right so with this point here right so as it is now this is my what this is our what our end view so take a look at each of the views and uh compare them with the isometric drawing of that particular object all right thank you